ever wondered what working in your own kitchen would be like? Wonder no more. Watch as I make something interesting in my kitchen. This is Kitchen Sundays. Welcome to Arcade Kitchen. Today we're going to make pineapple beer. So let's go over the ingredients. We need about five pineapples, medium to small size pineapples will do. We will need 1.8 kilograms of brown sugar. I measure it with this uh, perfect measure for sugar. You will need a good knife, a very sharp knife to be able to cut right through pineapple skin, which is quite tough. So this is a good knife to have. Cutting board preferably. Um, lots of uh, empty bottles for the end result. Uh, you need a kettle to boil water. Only 10 grams of instant yeast or baking yeast. The other very important part of the whole process here is a cooler box or something that can hold approximately 20 liters or so. This is a 22 liter box. I would uh, fill this up about halfway with uh, fresh water. Make sure that your cooler box has been thoroughly washed and fully dried before making any pineapple beer. You will also need some white packaging tape and a wooden spoon. I want to begin by preparing your pineapples, basically break the head off. I usually just cut off the top section and the bottom section to make it easy to work with. Don't lose too much of this because every part you save goes into production. This I don't keep, I'll throw that away. Same at the bottom. I like to cut off as much of the skin as possible, as you can see. Saving as much of this as possible. This is very important stuff. Pineapple skin is more important than the pineapple itself. And I basically just loosely cut off the skin on the outside. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not going to be eating this pineapple as is. It's literally just to allow the outside of the skin or the inside of the skin to become exposed. Okay, then I'm going to cut this up into decent size chunks. And then you want to kind of cut pieces approximately that size. It does not have to be perfect at this point. We are just trying to expose some surface area without making the fruit too mushy. I like to then cut the skins up slightly or just break it up slightly so you can again expose more surface area. Uh, again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to go ahead now and dump the cut pineapple into the cooler box. Now do it four more times. While you're busy cutting up pineapples, make sure you start boiling water with your kettle. You want to boil approximately the other half of the water that's going to go into the container mix. Boiled water is very important, both for safety sake and also for activation of the pineapple skins. Okay, once your water is boiled, use this water, put it straight into the cooler box on top of your mix. And then refill and repeat. Fill that up with the balance of pineapple cuttings and boiling water. The cooler box is almost full, I think we're probably going to need another uh, two, maybe three kettle loads of water to fill it up. All right, this is the last pineapple. Just need to work on filling that container. While you're waiting for the water to boil, um, you can also um, start adding the sugar. Alright, so this is the last uh, measurement of the 1.8 kilograms of sugar. I want to just fill it up a little bit with water still. About there possibly. At this stage you're going to give it a nice big stir with a cleanly washed wooden spoon or stainless steel spoon, whichever you may have. Stirring just helps the sugar dissolve. Then you're going to Close it up for a bit and let it cool. A 
Okay, so the cool box has been cooling for about 45 minutes. I'm going to add the uh, instant yeast, only 10 grams. Give it a good stirring. Close the lid, and we're going to seal it up with some tape. Okay, it's sealed. Now you want to place it somewhere cool and dark, like a garage or your arcade. So this cooler box should sit here for, i say, a minimum of five days. Some people say you can do it in three days. Uh, in my experiences with the uh, yeast, I believe that five days is the correct number of days. Five days later. Okay, this is in the decanting phase right now. I've got... Uh, uh, two bottles filling up uh, independent speeds. And this is what your mix should look like. Uh, this is five days exactly to the hour actually. After the decantation process, the next process is obviously putting it into the refrigerator. So you should then be in the fridge for at least three hours I would say before actually using it. And then the process begins again. A little bit of uh, pineapple juice and some space invaders. Good combination. 